There's Henry, he's real tired now. He ain't alone. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> You got there, man. That thing goes on forever. Oh. He's gonna, he's gonna be able to shoot people in through their rooms. Is that the Vatican over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and if you can see, just off to the left near the dome of the other building, there's the Pope having a cappuccino. Eric, get a picture of that. You can probably get it. There's a statue on top of the building. There's another dome building. Ooh, uh. And then, of course, there's a patio on top of the building, on the top of Henry's head. Somewhere just over that area, next to that building, is where the uh, McDonald's is at. We came up a monstrous flight of steps to get to this viewpoint. And there's an Italian talking on the phone. An Italian. Something like that stuck on something like this. In a place right over there from Rome City. Vatican City. It's the city. This is the city. Henry did leave his mark on the city. He puked on the wall. Oh, next to the wall. I don't know what that's a statue of, but there's what the stuff says. If you're fast, you read it.
And this is the area where we're at. I got you first, Eric. Henry, how you feeling now? Henry feels better. He wants a Big Mac. If you look closely, Henry's kind of green and brown. It's like green. <laughs> a little bit of yellow where he dribbled on himself. <laughs> That's a bottle of water that he uses to wash his mouth out with. There's Henry again. And just over his shoulder is what we're faced with every fucking day. What? Women. Oh. Mm. I don't know. These heads just don't turn me on. <laughs> no, they don't. I want the cigarette. Yeah, there I've got it. This man here was a heavy smoker. That's why he looks like he does. Safety check. Safety check. Well, words looking too intense now. <laughs> right now, we're on a quest for food. We've got Eric's nose on the trail. Food in the bathroom. Henry needs a bathroom. It's later in the day now, but we're still here in the park. Oh, wow. Five minutes later. Yeah, five minutes later. Yeah, that is big park. It's a Henry check. How you doing, Henry? Hey. Hey. Hey, how doing? Hey, okay. We finally got Henry in the luxurious hotel. What's the name of this place? Hotel City's Bay. <laughs> About right. Come check out, check out our view. We have a lovely view of the neighboring courtyard. As the camera goes, too much light, too much light. See? And that's downstairs. I like the balcony there. Pretty cool, huh? It's like nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I know the angle is fucked. This is going to work out for you. I'm going to have one. I can't even put your money up there. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. 160, 178 mil. 178 mil should last us to, uh, the rest Where of the day and more. Oh, this is the straw pin. Yeah, tell us about the straw pin since we didn't catch that on film. Oh, we didn't, did we? Okay, pretend this is a wine bottle. Now, wine bottles have corks in them. We bought two bottles of wine, what, 
being the intelligent Americans we are, we didn't buy a corkscrew. So, like I told him to, after we bought the wine. But you know, hey, where's the wine? That's his problem. He's Outside. Like, okay, so what we did? Took our little knife. Like, this door. Cut out a little dip in the cork. And we took the pin. Where's the pin? The pin, the pin right? And you're working your way back and forth on the different sides of the cork, pushing down. And you push the cork down into the bottom. Well, right when it gets to the base of uh, the neck of the bottle, it hits the wine. And you can't compress the wine, right? So you get to hit on one side and jab the pin in there and squeeze the cork in, which is why you hit the little hole first. But then you still only got just a little bit of wine coming out. So you, you got to use the pin like a straw and suck the wine out <laughs> and pull the cork so you can have room to push the cork further down. And then that's why you take the insides of the pin and it's hollow. Where the straw ended up. Well, okay, this time <laughs> the straw just wasn't working. There was not enough wine coming through. So I used the straw or pin to push the cork down. I held the pin down with my tongue while I had to get a big drink to get the cork out of the way. And then, well, after I was my drink, you know, of course the pin had to go down at the bottom of the bottle, right? And so we're sitting here and we're drinking this bottle of wine with a pin and a piece of cork in it. <laughs> and all the Italians are looking at us like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> so to keep ourselves from being further embarrassed, we go out on the weather deck. Yes, we go outside, for those of you not in the Navy. And we're out there, and we're rocking, and we're rolling, <laughs> and the camera's not there, because we don't have it with us, right? And uh, so anyhow, we're drinking the wine, and we're talking about what's all going on. And Henry's right in the middle of this big swing, and I said, and there's a pin at the bottom of the bottle! Boy, he almost lost it. That's <laughs> when he goes this way. <laughs> and Henry hasn't been feeling too good since then. How you doing, Henry? Uh... <laughs> hey, I'm going to try that. Where, where is it at? Where is it at? Is it up here? I got a special effect somewhere on this thing that doesn't... Yeah, there it is. Right in front of me. Associations. Ciao now? Yeah. Ciao. What time is it? It is now 10.21.